Hello, and here I am with another Throwback Thursday review, and today it's in the rotation leads us to a Bionicle review, and today we are reviewing the Paraka from 2006. Okay. So we'll start off with the booklet, as you see, picture of the set that there is, and also the select type with the name of which, but also that on the characters and such, it also mentioned nicknames, so read acts of which the traces are. And Zactan's the snake, and the beast, or as they often said in the little videos and things. But also Paraka logo, the little Bonicle logo above, and the warning set number. There's how to take the uh, piece out from the caster lid and battery not replaceable. Kind of a bummer, but on the back you see. Add for the Maze of Shadows game and Bonicle 3 movie. Then add for Lego Club and Shop at Home. Add for the Bonicle website. And then add for Axon Brutaka. Then add, and then add for all the Paraka together with the map of Voyanui and the extra Xamorosphere pack and the pieces that come with each one. Then left in the middle of which have uh, put it back in the canister plate. And then lastly is the combination models. And also to note is the Paracas, that the Paraka were the last ones to ever have combination models. Well, and here, and then the Anika didn't either, but didn't, but they didn't reintroduce it until Hero Factory 2.0. Kind of interesting. And that's about it I think. So now on to the sets. So I guess starting with the first one I got first being a uh, Redac, of course. So the Paraka, which were kind of cool at the time. So, starting with the feet as usual. as So, Vizoc, or Redax, and Vizoc, and Tacan, which had these kind of feet, which are just three clawed, and, well, but his in particular, black with gold. And these of which were also used for uh, Brutaka's uh, hands and whatnot. But also, in the 2008 uh, Shadow Matoran sets, they had similar feet pieces with two uh, toes rather than three. And then have the legs pieces that they used quite a bit since then. And then have the extended uh, connector joint things and that carried on from the Viserax and then these uh, kind of spiky armor pieces that they have used a bit since then. And as for the main body piece of which where unlike with the Hordika and Metru and all where it's a large bulk piece and a few multiple pieces but instead it's just one big bulk piece with a few attachments to it but with the ball joints and rather than the sockets. So it two-piece torso is what they introduced, but interesting fact is that only with the Paraka sets here is that they used it like this way when other sets of which used it with the back part, but used it this back part other ways. Not sure why that is, but whatever. And then one arm of which with this arm piece which they have used just for these sets and for just a couple of sets and not much since. But for one feature is where you can where they have flippable weapons. See with a little drill on it, but flip it around. And it has a large saw blade. But now it varies with each paraka. And then for the other arm of which, which is just a metru, toa metru arm piece, and also 
the famous Xamarosphere launchers. So now Redak and Zactans were in gold, when others were in silver and a couple were in gunmetal gray. And also with each Paraka set, you get four of the green Xamarosphere. And how you shoot it is just load it in and hold it like that and then fire it like so. And of course, in the storyline wise, as they shoot it off at the Matoran Voyanui, it controls them. Of course, kind of interesting. And so for the heads of which, uh, hang on a sec. There's an example of which is that for the head pieces, which were just like this, which kind of similar to the Metru heads, but except instead of a plus rod part, instead it had these uh, like glow in the dark teeth to it. And let's see. Yay, it still glows after all these years. Also, but whereas the rest of the head, which is not really a mask, but instead it's just a big, large chunk of rubber kind of piece, which extends to the arms and then to the back that you plug into his, his butt, of course. But it, although it does kind of hinder the head movement there, but as for Redax in particular, it's kind of these spiky view things going out, and as well as for the back part, there's his eyes of which kind of goggle scope like. And oh, I think the battery's dead on him. But the eye pieces, which they also use with uh, uh, Umbra and Lezevic, which kind of light up and do that. Although, if I do recall, there is one. A YouTube video that shows how to replace the batteries, but you'll have to try that yourself. Anyways, on to next one to review, uh, Zactan, which also has a bit of gold to it. But also an uh, interesting fact with Zactan here is that he's considered leader of the Paraka, which is kind of interesting because usually the red one's the leader, but I'm not sure why this is, but Whatever. So see, they're all quite the same, but but this time around, the difference is with feet. Three have these feet, and another three have the other clawed feet, but these are with finned feet, which actually have two points of connection, which help them be useful with uh, with Butaka and all. And for his weapon in particular, has clawed and flip on over. It has three blades of which kind of cool. And then for his spine, which from the back, quite wide and long. And plenty of sand green to good for mocking. I don't know if you can have eyes barely lighting up. And now to the flagship character, or the main face of it, Vizok. And also interesting fact about Redak and Vizok is that them and the white one, Thok, together can make the character Ernak set. And, but that which came with the golden version of Thok's spine. But, but that will be in a separate review 
coming up some time. But anyways, but his, but in compared to gold, it's silver for him, but also thock, of course. It also has a bit of some sand blue, of course, and also clawed feet, which was using a couple other sets as well. But for his main weapon, at first some fish hook, but flip it over, harpoon. But as for the spine, which as you can see, look quite fin-like and a bit of a fin in the front, but also with this one of which they did reintroduce as a stars set in the 2010 stars line, but it was called Nectan, of course. And a little synopsis of the Baraka sets is that about how the Borak Rakshi or whatever, or how the Rakshi were like hunters and all. But they of which were a gang of scavenger thugs taking over the island of Voyadui, yeah, enslaving the Mator and collecting the plasma and all. Well, until the Toa Nika sets came around. And if you've all followed it, then you would know. So, for the final verdict on these, overall, they of which kind of revolutionary, so. Oh, it started out of this other era. Like, at first, uh, Voynui and yet to be Baramagna one. But also a little bit revolutionary, like, with a two joint or two piece torso, and like, of what some call the Anaka build. But I think it should be more preferred as Paraka build. But of course, once we get to the Anaka sets, you'll know a little more. But also one ones that had a little extra pizzazz added to them, like obviously glow in the dark teeth, light up eyes, and all. Even though this year was the only time to have uh, light up features and sets, but yeah. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still are itching to get these sets, then go ahead and pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, whatever. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.